Welcome to the new car. So walking around the first thing you notice is the bonnet is pretty damaged, it's pretty battered. It kind of looks like it's been hit by something, I thought maybe originally something had been stored on it but um, it's had a hell of a whack just going through the sheet metal itself. Um, so I think the best thing to do would be to buy a new panel, I've looked on eBay, there's one for 35 quid upwards um, that need painting but otherwise okay. Just before I start filming a bird's pooed on it so I'm going to have to wash this now. The roof again has got some marks, a bit frustrating, could be quite difficult to sort, um, might get some kind of PDR type paintless re repair, uh, might need some filler in these little spots here. Realistically I think this car is probably going to want painting but it's probably not worth it financially. It's come with a new set of wheels but I'm going to leave them off camera because I'm going to sell them in order to fund the project. Uh, otherwise there'll be too much money into it. Um, the wheels are alright and the stance looks great. It's got coilovers on it but they need setting up a little bit. It could be a little bit low for the speed bumps around here. Uh, just watch that sun. Um, but yeah, it's nice and straight down the side. It looks okay. Just needs a bit of love. Bit of cosmetic attention, nothing too bad. You know, this badge here, I could get an enamelled one of those, or maybe even touch it myself. Could look, could come up quite nicely to be fair. Bit of paint missing off this rear quarter, um, off, a, off the wheel arch, the alloys need a clean. Um, the front two need a refurb, it's quite a big dink at the bottom of that one. Um, but again, it's not too bad externally, it's pretty good. So, getting into the car. You can see the first thing that's obvious is the dash is apart. You've got no slam panel, centre console's out, the air heating controls are in there, uh, but there's not much else, no double din, um, top panel gone around the instrument binnacle trim has gone. Um, so hopefully that's all in the back, we'll see. The door cards, they're pretty sharp. This one might go again, um, might be easy to replace. Could look to get one in black, actually that would suit the interior better. But one over on the driver's side is pretty badly battered. These are just for the suspension. Looking to the back, just being hit by some of the, uh, the fabric there. That's for the headliner. Um, sagging down, it's been started. You can see the trim's been taken off at the back. Uh, hopefully it's on the back seat. I've been told everything's with the car. Um, what have I got? I've got a... Um, the sub box, which I probably won't use. Um, there's a stereo behind there, so I will think about what kind of ice I want to put in. I've got some trim, I've got the parcel shelf, so that'll go in. Uh, I can see some of the instrument cluster. I'd best pull it all out and see what I've got. And again, round the back, if I can get into the back, um, there's more parts in there as well, so bear with, I'm not very familiar with these cars. Here we go. Okay, so. The struts work, that's uh, an improvement on my last project. Um, what have we got in the back? So we've got some spacers for the wheels that came with it. We've got some more bits and pieces, so I think I'll pull it all out, lay it out, cut back in. Okay, quite the haul. So what have we got? We've got some new bits, which is great. That's going to set this car right off when it's all done. So some number plates and some mats, which is great to see. Uh, there's a little box I've not looked in yet. Um, what else? I've got some spacers at the back there. They came with the other wheels, so I'm not going to use them, um, but it gives me some options for other cars. Maybe put it on eBay, I don't know, we'll see. Could put it towards a few bits that I might do. It looks like I've got some leather trim in the middle of the tarpaulin there. Um, that looks like it's for the, for the door cars to retrim those. So I think that's probably the way to go. Um, I'd said a second ago I was going to retrim them in black or, or buy new ones in black, so that's quite good. And you can see some of the interior trim has, has been started to be refinished in like this Alcantara type stuff. Um, I do quite like that. Uh, there's a few bits left to do, so we'll see whether I do that or maybe carbon dip it. Um, I'm thinking about maybe taking it in a slightly different direction to what Chris was going to do. Um, so he's given me these TT vents um, in the middle there. I'm not sure I'll use them. They're a bit 
bling, I might go for a more OEM look. But then I also might look at the middle kind of um, binnacle there and see if I can get like a Google Play type setup. Um, there's a seller on eBay that's that's quite um, quite into bugs who's going to give me some advice. And I'm a bit lacking in the ice department. Um, there's that new speaker box and the stereos there, the original stereo. Um, it's a bit mouldy um, and it is a CD head as well because in the rear of the car there's a multi-CD changer. Now I have to say I don't really love these. I tend to find that they, they can go wrong and they're not very reliable. Um, oh look, I've got a little beetle flower. <laughs> Brilliant, that's perfect. A bit poorly, um, but there's, an, there's another little bit as well. Fantastic. Um, oh, and look at this. I've got down the bottom here, I've got a little ladybird as well. Brilliant, that's all complete then. So why have I stripped out everything out the back? Well, short answer is it's quite damp. Um, it's quite wet and on further inspection, this little bung here is deteriorated. So that needs replacing. Um, might be letting a bit of road spray in. Also, it's quite hairy. There's been a dog in here. It's a bit moldy. Everything's a bit damp. So, you know, the roof line is sagging as we know. Um, the job's been started, there's some trim taken off, but it all needs doing. And I think really the first thing to do is just strip everything out, start drying things out, give it a really good clean, um, give it a good wet vac and hoover, try and get everything nice and clean. And then I can use loads of product before putting something like a new headliner in where I'm going to glue it and then it might not cure properly because the car's damp. So get myself a decent baseline, it's winter, it's middle of February, get it as dry as I can on sunny days like today and get it all aired out and then get myself a nice straight interior and start adding new bits to it. It'll also be a lot nicer to work inside a car that's not minging. Um, so yeah, I can use plenty of products, get this nice and clean and uh, I don't need to worry about it. So that'd be fantastic. So I think first job is get the seats out, jet wash the car, get it really nice and clean and then start putting things back together. I think the main point is I've got everything I need. Chris has been absolutely brilliant, a man of his word. I knew he would be, really solid bloke and everything's there. This is gonna be like giant Meccano for adults. So although I don't really like fiddly jobs like this, I am actually quite looking forward to this because um, it's definitely gonna be satisfying when it's done. And I've still got the opportunity to to take it in the direction I want to go. I'm not locked into anything. I can make a few decisions around the ice, around the finish, on the trim, maybe, you know, maybe even the colour. Um, I think Chris was going for the whole slam it to the deck kind of boy race look, which is great. I'd have loved it. I'd have been hooning around in it, but that's not quite what Mrs. Cherish Cars is going to be about. She wants this as daily driver. Um, and it doesn't matter what I want. I've got to kind of get to what the client wants, really. Um, so, yeah. Really excited, really excited about this. The paint's tired, it needs a fair bit, but you know, everything's fair, and I can really see where this car can go. I mean, that paint, it's a weird one. It's kind of goldy, yellowy red with brown. Um, it looks like the original paint, the boot's all straight, and that's, that's painted the same color, but there's no paint code on the door shut, so I'll have to dig that paint code out and figure out what it is. Um, so yeah, I think that's probably enough for today. Um, I've got all the bits and pieces. I'm going to start coming up with my plan, get the interior out, make a start cleaning it. Um, you've seen all those videos before, so I won't bore you with too much of that. Um, but yeah, getting the actual job done, getting everything dry and back together. I think this will start to come, come together quite quickly. I'll start with the headliner. I think I'll start at the back of the car, work to the front. And the last bits that go in will be all of the, the dashboard trim, so I can decide what I want to do with the ice. Thanks for watching this episode. Um, I hope you're enjoying the channel. It's been really going well recently. Lots of engagement, a, a huge step up in subscribers. So thank you for all of that support. Got some content on the Insignia coming soon. Um, hopefully by now we'll know what we're doing with Bootstrap Banger. That might be back with me quite soon. Um, by the time you see this, you'll, you'll know what we're doing with it. Um, yeah, it's good to have another project on the drive. Um, I was feeling a bit overwhelmed yesterday. When I got back, it had been a long day, lots of graft, dropping cars off, picking cars up, kind of having to be in the right place at the right time for to meet other people, taking over things like the bootstrap banger for the welding. Um, 
And yeah, I, I must admit, at one point it kind of got to me, but I'm really pleased to have this, to be able to do something with it, uh, get it get it to where it needs to be, get Mrs. Cherish cars into a car she's always wanted. And, uh, and you know, it wants a fair bit of work, but it fits the bill of the channel perfectly. Dug the bug. Fantastic. Needs a bit of love. But absolutely what this channel is all about. So... I'm looking forward to where this car goes next. I don't think it's going to take ages. Um, but suffice to say, dug the bug. Needs a bit of work. Um, really looking forward to getting into this. I think this is going to make some great content for the channel. Um, and I'm really looking forward to getting it back up and running. Um, I don't think this was going to scrap it, but nonetheless, you know, this is definitely going to have a, a decent lease of life ahead of it now. So really exciting. Thanks again for watching and please tune in and keep on supporting and engaging with the videos. It's goodbye from me and goodbye from Doug the Bug.